While some Americans are still stranded in Afghanistan, President Biden is receiving backlash for spending the holiday weekend vacationing in Delaware. The commander in chief has a, a duty and responsibility to American people. I'll say we have thousands of Americans still in Afghanistan right now. But even if it was one, even if it was one American, the commander in chief should be 24 seven around the clock in, in the in the in the White House in the West Wing, making sure that we get that American out. Here to react is Tennessee Congresswoman Diana Harshbarger. Diana, okay, you just heard um, that soundbite right there talking about how the president is now vacationing in Delaware, his home state. I mean, is this really the time for him to be vacationing? No, this is the time for him to be on the job 100%. Um, we have people still in Afghanistan. They won't let our planes leave. This is, uh, it's a travesty of the worst kind. You know, he's prioritizing his vacation over the lives of American citizens. You know, he kept his promises to the Taliban and he's breaking his promises to Americans to get them out. And uh, God only knows what will happen if they can't get out. Right. And then there's a couple of Republicans that actually tweeted slamming Biden for his trip. Um, Mark Meadows said American citizens are still stranded behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. And meanwhile, Joe Biden is vacationing in Delaware. As I said, others, you know, shared that sentiment. But, you know, who, who can Americans look to now? Because um, Kamala Harris has been pretty much non-existent as well in this. So who, who do we look to for guidance and and support right now? Well, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her really publicly. I haven't seen her on Capitol Hill or at the White House. I haven't seen Joe Biden. And, uh, you know, they they want to go vacation. She's more concerned about campaigning for Gavin Newsom than she is uh, taking care of the border crisis. You know, who is in charge? That's the question that I have, as well as many of my colleagues. Who is in charge? Who's pulling the strings? Because all people want to know is for someone to be accountable. And, and we need to be reassured. That's the bottom line. The American people need to be reassured that they're taking care of business and, and they can't do it. You're also one of the Republicans saying that uh, calling for the impeachment of President Biden um, by way of the way he's he's handled, especially um, Afghanistan. But what, what are the other reasons that you're calling for that impeachment? Well, it's the mishandling of the withdrawal from Afghanistan, first of all. But it's also the unconstitutional things he's done with the Remain in Mexico policy. And it's also the eviction moratorium. That's just, that's the top three. And we won't go further than that. But, you know, this is an inept administration. And, you know, they don't do anything that's not calculated. And I'm just sitting back waiting to see what else can they do. Don't ever say it can't get worse, because every time someone says that, things happen and it gets worse. So, yes, the, the people that I serve demand that we, we at least put up articles of impeachment, because people at the top are accountable, and it flows right down through the administration. And my question to the Biden administration is, is it, who's pulling the strings? Who is giving you advice that is so horrible that within eight months, things have gotten so bad here in America, the greatest nation the world has ever seen. Right, and it also makes you wonder what people like uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un are thinking as well. Okay, Congresswoman Diana Harshberger, thank you mm -hmm. so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your take on this. Hey, my pleasure, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.